so hello guys welcome back to our channel engineering educators engineering in an engineered way before start i would like to request you all like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so today i will discuss part two of my previous video which is bihar public service commission assistant professor for mechanical question paper of 2022 so in my last video i have covered up to question 54 so today i will start from 55 so let's begin question 55 up to the critical radius of insulation here option a will be the correct answer added insulation increases the heat loss here critical radius is actually you can insulate up to a certain limit that is called the critical radius if you added insulation beyond this then uh, then rate of heat transfer rate of heat transfer will increase so if you uh, so that is the option a is the correct answer here so next question is question 56 on heat transfer surface fins are provided fins are provided to increase option c to increase the surface area to promote the rate of heat transfer actually from fourier law we know q dot rate of heat transfer is equals to del t divide b by k a where a is the area of surface so q dot is proportional to area so as the area increases rate of heat transfer also increases so let's move on to next question question 57 the major difficulty during welding a aluminium is due to its here option a will be the correct answer aluminium causes oxidation welding of aluminium causes a huge oxidation so that is the major difficulty option a is the correct answer here next is the ratio of acetylene ratio of acetylene to oxygen is approximately dash for a natural film used in gas welding so c2h2 is to oxygen ratio we know for a natural film is 1 is to 1 for a neutral frame sorry for a neutral frame is 1 is to 1 option a is the correct answer here so let's move on to next question the primary purpose of sprue the primary purpose of sprue of a sprue in a casting mold is to so let's see here that is the pouring basin that is the sprue and after that is goes to that is runner here and here is the gate gate and then the mold cavity here mold cavity and riser one riser is here one riser is here so here it is the sprue and this is the this is the pouring basin and this is the this is the runner so main purpose of purpose of sprue is here option c feed the molten metal here molten metal is poured first in the molten uh, in the pouring basin then it will come through sprue sprue then it passes to gate so here option c is the correct answer feed the molten metal from the pouring basin to the gate to the gate that is option c so next is chills are used in mold to here to achieve the direction solidification if suppose like this type of casting is here so so for fast cooling or solidification here from all the surfaces it will solidify but here you can see here heat heat uh, here heat cannot be solidified as faster as compared to the other surfaces due to those two directional heat flow in that particular region so here we use chills to give it direction solid uh, to give is directional solidification that is the main purpose of using of shields so here option a is the correct answer for question question 60 so let's move on to next question 61 the single point thread cutting tool single point 
thread cutting tool should ideally have ideally have zero ray option a will be the correct answer next move on to question 62 for a ductile material toughness is measured of so it's 62 answer will be b ability to absorb energy to fracture so actually for ductile material for ductile material toughness is up to the fracture point energy absorbed energy absorbed by the energy absorbed up to till the fracture point till the fracture point okay so that is uh, for a ductile material so here option b will be the correct answer so let's move on to next question 63 the rolling operation the rolling operation uh, the state of stress of a material undergo deformation is is here option c will be the correct answer compression as well as shear if it is two rolls and one seed is passes through that particular roll seed is passes through that particular roll here that is the seat so it comprises of compression as you can see here the compression and the shear shear of the surface so here compression as well as the shear is involved so option c will be the correct answer let's move on to question 64 flash and gutter provided in a drop forging dice at which of the following state for question 64 year finishing in the is the correct answer so let's move on to next question which of the following is a single point cutting tool here option will be D the parting tool parting tool is the single point cutting tool here grinding is multi point milling is also not a single point and hacks of blade those all are multi point so here only parting tool is the correct answer so let's move on to next question 66 a in asa system if the tool nomenclature is 8 6 5 5 10 15 and 2 then when the side rack angle will be so let's see the asa configuration so for asa we know first rack angle back rack angle then side rack angle then really end relief angle then end cutting angle then side cutting angle uh, sorry then end cutting angle then side cutting edge angle and finally the nose radius so here they said that the side ring angle so that is the side ring angle so second one so here second one is six so here b six degrees the side ring angle will be the correct answer for question 66 so here p will be the correct answer six degree so let's move on to next question question 67 a dynamometer is a device used for the measurement of for the measurement of here option b will be the correct answer forces dynamometer actually used to measure the forces during metal cutting in lathe actually in lathe or turning operation during the turning operation we use dynamometer to measure the uh, forces so here option b will be the correct answer let's move on to next question 68 in a 3 in a 3 2 1 principle of fixture design 3 refers to the number of here 3 actually refers to the number of locators at the primary datum and for 2 it is locator at the secondary datum and for 1 it's locator at the tar tertiary datum so here option will be option b locator at the primary datum is Rev, uh, denoted by 3 so here option b will be the correct answer 
सो लेट्स मुव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी नाइन सो फॉर ए कम्प्लीटली सामर्ज बॉडी उइथ ए सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी जी एंड सेंटर ऑफ बॉयसी बी द कंडीशन ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी उल बी उल बी हियर ऑप्शन ए उल बी द करेक्ट एंसर जी इज लोकेटेड बिलो बी G must be located below P. Here B, buoyant, uh, center of buoyancy and G. Here this must be, G must be located below B. Then only this condition will satisfy. So here option A is the correct answer. Let's move on to question seventy. For a Newtonian fluid, for a Newtonian fluid, here option C will be the correct answer so for 70 we know newton's law of newton's law of, uh, for fluid is tau is proportional to mu du by dy so from that equation we can say shear stress is proportional to rate of shear strain rate of sorry it's equal to mu dy or proportional to du not mu mu is constant then uh, du by dy that is rate of shear strain so here option c will be the correct answer so let's move on to next question here for 71 